I'm delighted that you've chosen to join me for Adobe Illustrator for Cartographers. Let me tell you a little bit about the emphasis of this class and also about some of the materials that you'll need. The emphasis of this course is learning how to use the Adobe Illustrator software platform and using its tools in the context of cartographic production. Adobe Illustrator is a very sophisticated software package with lots of options, but then again, people who are interested in GIS and cartography are probably already familiar with working with some rather sophisticated software packages, so that shouldn't be a problem. I want to bring you up to speed on all of the essential tools in Adobe Illustrator and with a particular eye toward thinking about them in the context of cartographic production. The version of Adobe Illustrator that you're going to see me using in this lesson is the Creative Cloud version. There are many different versions of Illustrator. Currently, Creative Cloud is the latest, but you don't have to worry about uh, having the latest version of Illustrator in order to complete this course. I use many different versions of Illustrator. I frequently use CS4. I use CS6 a lot in uh, cartographic labs. Uh, so that doesn't really matter. The, the tools and techniques that we go over in this course are going to be applicable to a wide range of different versions of Adobe Illustrator. So don't worry about that too much. I even go through and try to note where I am aware of different situations where they've moved a tool in different uh, versions or there are slightly different options in different versions of Illustrator. So whatever version of Illustrator you've got, uh, you're going to be ready to go for this course. If you don't currently have a version of Illustrator on your computer, you can actually use one for free. Uh, as a trial version, if you go to Adobe's website and look up Illustrator, they'll let you download it as a trial and you'll have more than enough trial time to go through this course and then practice and do some really amazing things with it to bring up your skill with the software package. I'm going to be running on the Mac platform. That might be a little bit unusual to people who are used to uh, GIS software and uh, working on the Windows platform. I'm going to be running on the Mac. Uh, but if you're running on Windows, again, that's no problem. Illustrator is for Windows and Mac. So whichever platform you prefer, uh, you can run with. Uh, this is not uh, specific to uh, either a Mac or a Windows platform. Whichever one you've got uh, is perfectly fine. Let me also just show you that I'm going to be using a graphics tablet. Uh, whenever I do cartography, whenever I'm using Illustrator in general, I much prefer to use a graphics tablet and the associated pen rather than a mouse. Uh, you can use a mouse, uh, but if you're really getting into cartography, I would probably recommend picking one of these up, uh, but it's absolutely not required for the course. This is just one of the uh, Wacom Bamboo uh, tablets, one of the most basic models that there is. But uh, if you're really getting into cartography, I recommend picking one up. Let me just say a couple of words on a few topics that we're not going to be emphasizing in this class. We're not going to be emphasizing the technical aspects of cartography. Maps are scientific documents. They are also works of art. Illustrator is a graphics program that's going to give you a tremendous amount of control over the art of your maps. It doesn't do so well uh, getting the science of the map right. You'll have to use some other techniques to get that right. You can do the technical aspects of cartography inside Adobe Illustrator if you have the correct software extensions, but they're not the subject of this course. This also means that if you don't have a deep background in the technical aspects of cartography, you can still take this class. Uh, you can still learn uh, how to use Illustrator to make maps from an artistic standpoint, and this may open up an entirely new world to you in which you go in and then learn about all of the technical aspects of cartography. Also in this class, I'm not going to emphasize a whole lot of cartographic theory. I'm going to talk about it some as we go through some of the different tools, and I talk about tips and tricks with those tools for cartography and also pitfalls to avoid. But really the emphasis of this class is learning how to use this particular software suite. So I'm assuming that either A, you have already had uh, theoretical cartographic training in another location, or you will take the theoretical aspects of cartography later. Either of those is fine. Having a, a deep theoretical knowledge of uh, color theory, uh, how to produce flow maps, core plot, none of that's required for the class. Class. Hopefully you've got it or will get it uh, later on. Again, the emphasis here is learning how to use this sophisticated software package to produce fantastic maps and to make them look the way that you want them to look. Okay, well I guess that's all I've got to say. Uh, I'm ready to go. I hope you are too. Fire up Illustrator and I'll see you in the next lesson.